Welcome to the Traditional Bow Hunting and Wilderness Podcast. This is Jason Sam Kobiak. Today we're going to be talking about my new backpack that I have right here. This is the Mystery Ranch Pintler model. And uh, the reason I bought it was I wanted something that was a little bit bigger than my XOK2000 bag. And I also had an external frame like the XO does, uh, where my Kuyu does not my Kuyu 2300. I, I, I love all these packs, but um, I was going to look at Kafaru, which makes incredible packs. And I was actually, it's kind of ironic, because I was on their site uh, looking at packs, trying to decide which one I wanted to go with. And I got an email from GoHunt.com talking about deals on Mystery Ranch packs, that you know, that they had deals. So I clicked on it and I looked. And I saw this pack, and I saw the price on there. I mean, you're talking almost a $600 pack, uh, $500 and something dollar pack, and it was on sale for $350 bucks with free shipping. So I thought, you know what? Right now, that's kind of a no-brainer, because if I don't like it, I can turn around and I can sell it again and probably not lose my money. So um, I went ahead and I bought it. And Mystery Ranch packs are designed to be incredibly strong packs. There's no doubt about it. <clears throat> they have contracts with a lot of military groups. They have them with firefighters, first responders. There are a lot of, a lot of pros out there are running Mystery Ranch packs because of their durability, quality, and the way they're made. And, you know, I mean, these go back to when I was younger, too. I mean, Dana Designs, it was one of the most invaluable backpacks out there. One of the best designs were a Dana Design backpack, okay? And uh, Dana Designs, the guy who invented that, is actually the one who invented Mystery Ranch. After they sold Dana Designs to K2 uh, in the 90s, then in the early 2000s, they started Mystery, that same guy started Mystery Ranch and made it into what it is today. Took that same level and brought it into these industries. So, um, and like I said, Dana Designs was the gold standard of backpacks for, for 20 years. And, and like I said, they are Mystery Ranch, same, same guy that designed it. Um, but their, their stuff is flawless. There's been tests out there. There's uh, even on GoHunt.com, they do tests where they take a lot of your high-end backpacks and they wreck them. They crush them, beat them, strip them, grab them, rip stuff apart, see what how good zippers hold, what they can do. And you just can't beat a Mystery Ranch pack for strength, durability, and quality. They're top-notch. Now, don't get me wrong. I love these other packs a lot, too. And I'm not getting rid of them, not even for a second. But... I bought this one, and I've had it in the woods six times with me hunting. And honestly, I'm going to say it's getting to be one of my favorite packs, especially for a frame-style pack. Now, we're going to do some comparisons, and I'll show you about it a little bit. But now, my Michigan, my normal Michigan hunting pack that I use, because I'm not packing animals out of my back where I need an external frame, is my Kuyu 2300 Venture. Okay, This is a day pack. 2300 cubic inch day pack. There is no external frame on this pack. It is just a standard day pack setup where both this one and that XO have an actual external frame. What that means is I can load sling this. Okay, I can take this pack and I can disconnect this stuff, pop it across, pull this out, and I can actually move this whole bag out and stack meat between here. The frame, which you're seeing here, carbon fiber frame, is connected to this harness and suspension system, but the bag itself can be put out there in meat quarters and whole game bags. And, uh, you know, I can fill, I can put a whole deer between this bag and everything that's in it, move the whole bag out, put all my animal, a uh, whole deer right in between here and pack the whole thing out in one trip. The XO is that way and this pack is that way and I bought them on purpose for my out-of-state hunts to be able to load sling and pack meat out of my back. But when you look at this K2 or this uh, Venture 2300, this one does not have that option, but you can see size-wise, pretty close. This Pintler, 2,500 cubic inches, a little over, 2,300 on this Kuyu Venture. You can see they're very similar in size, but this one does not have an external frame on it. Just very simply a hip belt and shoulder straps, not adjustable, doesn't have a lot of that kind of options for you because it is just a day pack. But for me, I love it. For I love this Kuyu pack a lot. It is a great pack that I use when I'm here in Michigan, um, and I'm not packing animals out of my back. It's got some internal uh, stays in there, so it's got some rigidity. It's a great pack, affordable pack. I, I love it. Don't get me wrong, great pack. Then, so I had that for Michigan. I bought this XO three years ago. This is an XO Mountain K2000. It's been my go-to pack for my out-of-state hunts. You can see, pretty similar in size. This is 2,500 cubic inches. This is 2,000 cubic inches. Actually, I think it's a little more because you got the roll-up top, so you can almost get like 2,800 cubic inches in here. And I love this pack, don't get me wrong. 
Downside to it is when I'm putting my stuff inside of here, this kind of tapers from wider up here to narrower down there. And on the inside, I have a hard time fitting all the stuff I want to in there. When it, and mainly we're talking clothing. But I have my harness, lineman belt, my vest. I put some extra clothes, lunch in there, that kind of stuff. And it gets hard to fit in there. And then I end up putting stuff in this pocket too. And it ends up being out pretty far where my sticks and my stands are. But it's a great system. Don't get me wrong, I love it. And I love that they use this titanium frame that's on here. I've carried eight, eight, seven, eight deer on this thing, and it has been incredible. I love this XO bag. It's in this frame as comfortable as can be. Their new frame is no longer titanium. They went, they've got rid of this K2000 bag. They went to an 1800 bag, which is too small for what I want. Then you go straight up to the 3500 bag, and a 3500 has a stretch pocket but I guess it's no longer zippered for this stretch pocket which means to me things can come out I haven't seen it in full detail yet and they went to an actual aluminum frame so I'm not sure I'm sold on that yet now I'm not saying it's bad I'm sure they're paying attention to what they're doing uh, again Excel wouldn't put out a bad bag but I haven't seen it yet and the fact that I don't necessarily want a 3500 bag it kind of ruled XO out because of that it, which is a shame because like I said it's my favorite bag I've had um, but given that fact I needed to find something else. I wanted something a smidge bigger than this, not a ton, but a little bit bigger than this bag is. Still very lightweight, got the load sling capability with the external frame made by a high quality company. Um, and it has the double compression straps that come across for me to be able, because this is how I hang my stands on there. Um, so I want those double compression straps like you see on here. I need to have that. Certain things that I like in a pack, and EXO, like I said, currently does not make one that fits the bill I need right now. So EXO was out. Uh, but like I said, amazing pack. Like I said, led me to the Kuyu options and some of that kind of stuff, or Kafaru options. And I was kicking ideas around, but like I said, I came across this. Mystery Ranch Pintler. Okay, like I said, Mystery Ranch, incredible backpack. This one set up exactly how I hunt with it. This is exactly as I just got done hunting with it. Now... Um, and I'll take it out and show you. But you do have the pack or the frame on here. This frame is a ladder construction carbon fiber stays in this thing. This frame pivots with you like the XO does, which is really nice. It is designed tough as nails without fail. There's no doubt about it. This, there's no questioning the durability of this frame. The suspension system is incredibly comfortable. Um, and he's, I, I like the way these are. First, I thought maybe that's going to stick up a little too high. Well, as you can see, it doesn't stick up any higher than my XO does on here either like i said they're basically the same exact same height and same setup so um so i'm not this doesn't bother me it doesn't snag on nothing when i'm wearing it it fits me pretty good without having to worry now this is probably set up for when i have my winter clothes on but um when you put this on and you have it set you can see that that is not poking up too high on there where it's going to be a problem okay still right behind my head no big deal there whatsoever but very comfortable bag it's actually i would venture to say it's the most comfortable bag of all of them but i have not carried a deer out in this yet so i've not had heavy loads in it but i really like the hip belt a lot i like the design of it i like the lumbar pad i like the shoulder straps i like that they do give me a longer sternum strap i'm not a narrow guy i'm a pre i may be short but i'm wide across here the exo one when i got jackets and stuff on i'm maxed out all the time and it's still pulling a little bit that sternum strap on the exo little bit too small where you can see look at all the slack i still have in it so that's kind of a nice feature on there too the pack is great it does not have a handle if you guys listen to my podcast, you know I complain about that. Listen to me very carefully. Every single pack manufacturer out there, if you do nothing and take nothing away from this, hear this part right now. I don't care if you're Kuyu, Exo, uh, Stone Glacier, Kufaru, I don't care who you are. Hear this very carefully. Put a strap, a handle strap on your backpack. Mandatory, okay? This does not cost you any money to put that there. And it's important for us that our tree stand hunters, we need something to be able to hang the stand or the backpack in our tree stand. And don't say, oh, well, we got a handle right here on the lid right here because that's cool. No, it's not because then when I try to open this whole thing, I have to fight this and it's all hanging based on that. Don't give me that. Don't feed me that line of crap. Put it on here, right here, a simple strap on the back so we have a handle to hold the bag like it's supposed to be. You don't do that. I'm not buying your crap. Okay, period. Kuyu puts it on there, very nicely done. Axel puts it on there, right there. 
handle strap right there, right where it should be. Exactly the way it's supposed to be. Usable. Doesn't cost you money to put that there. Put it there for us tree stand hunters. So they have it. Uh, Mystery Ranch technically does and doesn't. Now they don't have a actual fabric handle back here, but because of the ladder design of their frame, they give it to you right here. So you have that handle right here. Now I could have just put a uh, carabiner right on there, but as you can see, I actually just tied a piece of webbing on there too, which gives me a little more height. So it's just quieter for me. Not that this system's bad, but I was actually gonna do the same exact thing and never got around to it on my EXO, because it's just a little bit too low down in there. I wanted it up a little higher, so I'm gonna put a strap on here. Just so when I hang that on my tree stand, I get a little distance from there. So that's on my to-do list. Well, I did it on this one. So I put this strap on there, the carabiner works like a champ, it's incredible, and when I'm not using it, it just falls right in here, right between the frame and there, and it's out of the way and doesn't bother me. So that's important, but having that handle on there, mandatory. If you're a pack maker and you don't put some kind of handle on there where it's right there where it's supposed to be, we're not buying your stuff as tree stand hunters. Just get it. Um, now the pack itself, like I said, I did add a accessory pouch right here on the side for Mystery Ranch. Did not cost much money. It's where I keep my GPS right in there. Sweet, simple, and easy. Um, straps right on, goes right on the strap. Very simple very adjustable they use an incredible yoke adjusting system on here which is by far the best i've ever seen see it comes with its own tool in here so when i take this i lift this shelf out right here and i pull this piece that is actually part of the frame right here i take this sleeve out and i can stuff this right through here and it breaks the seal and then this whole yoke system right here can slide up or down with this push i take this and jam it in there it breaks that velcro seal and I can slide this up and down to get it exactly where I want. When I'm done, I take this sleeve and I put it right back in here and it becomes an extra part of that frame. It's a beautiful, beautiful system and how it fits in there. And I'm gonna get it back in there here. You're supposed to loosen the load lifters when you do this so it can drop right in. Put that there, that there, and that goes in and locks that down and that becomes part of that actual frame in there as well too. It's actually just part of the shoulder suspension system that still has a whole frame. Uh, it also has a meat loading quick, what do they call it? I can't remember what they call it, uh, overload shelf. It actually has a dedicated meat shelf between the frame. I'm not taking this thing apart to show you. It's not hard to do, you just undo the load lifters, undo the side buckles on here and this whole thing pulls apart. Just like an exo bag, similar to how a Kuyu does, they all load sling the same exact kind of way if it's got an external frame but know it works incredible. Now, this pack comes in at under five pounds, or right, I think it's right at five pounds with the frame and everything. That's an incredible deal. They give you some incredible options on here. You have uh, 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 daisy chain type setups right here, so you can mount any extra gear that you want. You have compression straps on here, front and back. Now these compression, these buckles too, they are what, I can't remember what they call them, but they will not slide unless you hit the button on them. They got a, they're locking slide levers. This kind of nice feature. It makes them where they cannot slide at all. So that's pretty awesome. They put them on all your major compression strap. But see, like I can't take that and just adjust it. I actually have to hit the button on there to be able to adjust it. So it's a pretty slick system. I really like it but gives me plenty of room to put my stands and stuff on there. Very well done up. Um, so I got two compression straps on the front. You have compression straps on the side, on each side. So you got two here, two on the other side, two on the front. And then they also give you these ones, which I took off and they actually go inside my bag. I took them out to show you, but these go from here and connect into this right here and will actually connect right to here so that you can actually take this and lock it down even tighter and snug that right up if you want to. Or when you're load, when you got uh, animal meat in there and stuff as well too, you can extend these out and still run them from there and it gives you one more compression strap for over the top to hold your quarters in. So this comes with these, so you have two of them. I myself am not going to actually use these ones here on my normal hunting. But when I kill an animal, I will be putting these on. So I carry these inside of there as extra straps. But they do give them to you, which is a beautiful thing. Now the pack design, you got two water bottle pockets on the side. Very well done, and they hold a water bottle perfect in there, and it stays in, it's not coming out, and it fits in there. You could fit a full-size Nalgene bottle, one liter bottle, anything you want inside there. So I really, really like the design 
of these pockets and they also have inside there uh, a little lashing strap on there too as well so you can lock that stuff down or tie into it so you're not losing it so it's a great system right there on the pockets on there very impressed there now mystery ranch has what we call what they call that triple zipper thing okay for the main compartment at first i didn't know what i would think of it i was a little concerned will i like it will i not like it i didn't know for sure i love it straight up love it they also give you a pocket on the top up here on this top pocket all zippers are that waterproof type zipper and this one is very big now i have this i'm going to say with what i have in here i'm pro i mean i got enough room to put i mean you can put binoculars you name it there's a ton of room in here it goes all the way down to the point of this lid this is a huge huge pocket going from this whole thing is all pocket there's a ton of room in here i got so much stuff in here it's not even funny um, but i keep my saw i keep my headlamps you can see i keep a lot of garbage in there i got handle tow warmers and my thermal because i just got done trailing a deer last night um, on there i got my saws i got my arm guard i got tow haul lines i got you know all kinds of stuff in here i got a thing of tongs i got an extra bow hook um, a bunch of stuff that is in here and there's a tremendous like i said tremendous amount of room i love that pocket in there with all the stuff that you can do um, i'm just gonna slide that stuff over because like i said i'm actually getting ready to switch back over to my kuyu pack uh, for some georgia hunting so I'm taking everything out of this eventually here. But that's that main compartment pack. With the three zipper setup, you can, you can actually, and they, they have it so you can rip the design if you want, but you can actually unzip each one like this to open that main compartment to get in here. This is the mesh underside of that huge pocket that's inside of there. But you can do that, or you can even, they say that you can even just rip that too. So you can just open it a little bit, grab this, and you can just rip it right open. Okay, and you're not hurting anything. All the, the, the zippers are designed to be able to do that for you. So you basically just grab it right here and you just rip it and it opens up. It's also very quiet, which is really nice. Uh, so is my Kuyu, the XO one, the main zipper on my XO, very loud and very stiff, but it works, but it is a very, very loud zipper on there. Not that that's a big deal, but a much different than than this. Just a lot quieter zippers. I kind of like that sometimes. But anyway, top loading compartment, put everything right in there if you want to. Now the other nice thing is if you, for me, for example, on the bottom of this is my, um, a bag in here with other stuff, all kinds of my extras. Then I have my haul, or my uh, lineman belt. Then I have my harness. Then I have my vest, then I have my binoculars, then I have my lunch and anything else I want to put in here. Okay, that's just the order I put things in. Well, for me, when I get to a tree, as soon as I get to a stand and I'm getting ready to set up, in my other bags, I have to take everything out or lay them down or fight to get to that stuff. With this, it's very nice because it center zips right down the middle as well too. So instead of taking everything out of here to get to that stuff, you have the center compartment right here, or center zip, that shows you everything that's in this pack right here. You can access it. So you can see I have my binoculars, okay? They're right there inside of there. I have my Kuyu vest right here. I have my harness right here that's in here just like that. Then I have my lineman belt that's in here right there. Then I have my goodie bag. Basically, I'll show you some stuff. This I also bought, Mystery Ranch goodie bag. And so there is this whole inside of this thing, but you can access everything very sweet and easy. Okay, it's a beautiful setup. Now they also give you in here, even better too, you have the back bladder compartment right here. Then you have these two pockets, one on each side of this. I'm hoping you can see that here. I'm gonna turn it so you can. But you have a zippered pocket right here, a little mesh zipper pocket right here that I keep. This one's got my toilet paper in it. And it's got my spare parts kit, which has got all my other stuff, batteries, everything else I need in here like that. That all fits inside of this one mesh compartment right here. And that mesh compartment has a pass-through behind it. So you can actually put like a tripod, trekking poles, anything you want, and it will. it's a sleeve that's behind this. So it keeps it nice, neat, and organized. This side, you have an exact mirror image setup of that. Over here, I have my hunting tags. 
and I got all kinds of little stuff that I'm going to need. Little spare parts of things. Again, flashlight, duct tape, uh, lighters, bright eyes for marking things. I have my knife in here. You know, you can just put a million things. Another couple bow clips, uh, more lighters. Um, so that's that other one, and this is also a complete pass-through design. You see my fingers in there. So you got that sleeve option to put a tripod, spot, you know, anything you want to stick in there and have it keep it from moving, you can. Then they go one step further and they give you these two sleeve pockets on the side, which you can see go all the way to my elbow, down to almost the bottom of this pack, but they're just a sleeve pocket. It's nice. It lets me keep my neck warmer in there, my hat in there, my other hat in there, which I already took out, but I mean it's nice because when I open this, I don't have to dig for this stuff. If this is all zipped up and hanging in the tree and it's up here and I want to just grab this neck warmer out, all I have to do is open up this side and it's right there because those two sleeves run right here. I just put my hand in there, I hit that sleeve and I pull out and I just go right there and I grab my neck warmer. It comes right out of that sleeve that's in there. So I'm really very fond of this pocket system. Simple, lightweight, effective. On this side, winter time, I have my tripod that I use for all my videos and stuff when I'm in the field. I love this little thing. Uh, and then over here, I keep my hand muff that I need because I need this a lot when I'm in a stand. It's right there. I don't have to dig around in my pack to find it. These side pockets that are in here right here, they make everything so simple. Just keep it there. I know if I'm looking for my hand warmer, it's on this side. If I'm looking for my neck warmer or my hat, it's on this side. All I have to do is open one zipper, reach right into that pocket and grab it. So I'm really, it's a very minimalist style in here, but it gives you room for everything that you need right off the bat. Incredible system. I'm very, very happy with it. I like it a lot. Um, like I said, fully functional. That's that Mystery Ranch pack. This I also bought from uh, Mystery Ranch too. This is their large ditty bag, I guess you would call it. Um, but what's nice about it is I put all the stuff I need in here as extras. Orange vest. Okay, it's just an orange vest in here, but when I'm packing out animals, if I got a head of antlers on me, I wrap this around them as I'm packing them out so that nobody shoots me. Spare rope that I keep in there in case I need it. Uh, I have my kill kit in here, which has got my Havilon knife, uh, some uh, wet wipes, and, uh, and my rubber gloves. I have right here, game bags. I got two game bags in here and a uh, lightweight plastic garbage bag. So if I put a deer in here, I put a deer in that game bag, stick the game bag in the garbage bag just for transport, and then load sling it between there. When I get it back to the truck, I take it out of the garbage bag. The garbage bag just protects my pack from getting all bloody. It's just sweet, simple, and easy, and it's only while I'm carrying it on my back. But I have that whole kit right here like that. I also have my extra um, extensions for my tree stands. These will let me get in trees that are bigger than the trees I'm, you know, than my straps will allow. They just got a little bit of extra distance to them. I got four of them, three for sticks and one for a stand. I just made them, but these will, uh, you know, I just made them out of regular uh, webbing, but these will allow me to climb up those trees that are bigger diameter than what my uh, my sticks will let me naturally get up to. So I carry those in there. I also carry my uh, waterproof rain cover for my seat of my tree stand or if it's pouring hard and I want to put this over my pack I can put over the top of my pack whatever I want to do but that stuff just all rides right here sweet simple and easy in this bag because these are things I don't have to touch for a while I can even put my tags in there um, this stuff here and then I just take this and this whole bag compresses right down to like the size of nothing and it's just that basic extra essential stuff and I throw this right in the bottom of my pack sweet simple and easy I'm really, really loving this Mystery Ranch pack. I'm straight up loving the design, the functionality, the quality, the style. Um, and for the money, you know, like I said, for what I got it for, 350 bucks shipped to my house, I'll take it all day long. So that's that Mystery Ranch Pintler. Can't say enough good things about it. Obviously, any research you do on Mystery Ranch, you'll see that they're incredible. They are not the only pack out there. Obviously, I love my Exo pack. I'm not selling it. I'm not getting rid of it. Um, I love my uh, Kuyu pack. Not selling it. Not getting rid of it. This is in addition to those, but honestly, this one is becoming my favorite. I didn't think it would, but it is becoming my favorite very, very quickly, and there's not a lot of things I would change on it. One thing I wouldn't mind having was an action apps. Uh, uh, um, you know cloth handle back here just uh, so you know it would be a little easier but this works perfect 
and flawless. So I can't really knock that or complain about it. I, I can't see one thing on this pack that I would want to change. Where there are definitely things on these other ones that I would like to change. Mystery Ranch Pintler, awesome design, great pack, great frame. Can't say enough good things about it. And uh, GoHunt.com is where I bought it from. And they're an amazing company. Very, you know, I originally ordered it in the large belt size. Okay, and then I, I sent that order in. It was like 10 o'clock at night. At midnight, after doing some more research, I realized I need a medium belt, not a large. So I sent them an email saying, hey, please cancel that pack out and give me a different one. I need a medium, not a large. At 1 o'clock in the morning, I got an email from them saying, at 1 o'clock in the morning, think about that. He emails me and says, well, we can't do that because the order has already been processed, but we can cancel the whole order and then just go ahead and reorder it and we'll send you that one out. So I saw that one. I saw that at like 7 o'clock in the morning when I got up. Well, I immediately sent him an email, or I did that, sent him an email at 8 and said, okay, I did that to reorder. He said, great. And he, at 9 o'clock in the morning, I mean, we're talking within minutes of me contacting him at any hour of the day. They're contacting me back saying, great, that's done. Shipping was very fast. They included a personal card in there to, uh, with a 15% off my next order on there. Uh, they were just incredible people to deal with. Very good people. I'm very happy with them, and I will definitely buy again from them. So GoHunt.com. And if you haven't checked out their YouTube channel, well worth it. That's how I found out about them was from their YouTube channel. I watched their stress tests on many things. Their reviews on packs, reviews on things they have are incredible. They got a very solid YouTube channel. And like I said, they got a heck of a store with a solid reputation to back it up too. So definitely check out GoHunt.com for that stuff. Mystery Ranch Pintler, straight up love it. So I'll put a link to the Mystery Ranch, uh, to, to GoHunt.com down below for you where you can find the Mystery Ranch packs. They got them all right there for you too. So thanks for watching. Talk to you soon. Bye.